weather. I watched the news this morning. There won't be classes due to the typhoon. It is signal number two. In our area, there are no classes for both elementary and high school students. That's why it has been raining very hard since last night. Yes, other areas are already flooded. It is better to stay at home and be safe. What is signal number two? It is a storm signal. It signifies the strength of the typhoon in a certain area. It is the warning used by Pagasa. What is Pagasa? It is the agency that monitors the arrival of typhoons and other matters concerning the weather. We have four warning signals. With typhoon signal number one, the wind speed is 39 to 61 kilometers per hour. There will be no classes for kindergarten pupils. Typhoons under signal number one will likely bring none or very light damage to the area. During signal number one, you can still attend classes, Cullen. Daddy, how about signal number two? It's signal number two here in our area, and you can now feel the changes in the weather. There are floods and heavy rains. I saw in the news that B call is now under signal number three. The place is devastated. There are heavy rains and strong winds, and most of the areas are flooded. People who live near the shore are now in the evacuation areas. Signal number three has a wind speed of 89 to 117 kilometers per hour. There's severe damage to the areas and people need to vacate the area for possible tsunamis. There are times that a typhoon reaches up to signal number 4, which has a wind speed of 118 to 184 kilometers per hour. Under signal number 4, all outdoor activities as well as travel through land, air, or water are canceled. That's devastating. That's why we need to watch the news every time there is an incoming typhoon. We need to check the roof, electrical wirings, and even the water supply. We also need to store food, water, and other basic needs. Daddy, we also need to keep matches or lighters, flashlight, and candles. We have to charge our gadgets in case there is energy interruption. Not only that, we need to keep emergency contacts so we can easily ask for help in case something happens. And we need to stay home and listen to the news. I'll keep that in mind, Dad. Cullen, after the typhoon, we also need to check water pipes and electrical wirings. We need to check if there are tree branches and other objects that are scattered around the area. Cullen, there are other disturbances that occur aside from typhoons. We have tropical depressions, storms, thunderstorms, tornadoes, and tropical cyclones. A tropical depression is an atmospheric low-pressure system, originating in a tropical area like the Philippines. A storm is a violent weather condition with strong winds, rain, hail, thunder, lightning, blowing sand, and snow. A thunderstorm is a small, localized storm that always includes both thunder and lightning and is brought on by cumulonimbus clouds. Tornadoes are the most dangerous of all weather disturbances. A tornado can ruin an entire city or community as it passes by. It is usually observed in other countries like the USA. Tropical cyclones, often known as typhoons or hurricanes, are among the most dangerous meteorological events. They are severe circular storms that form over warm tropical waters and feature sustained wind speeds of more than 119 km per hour, as well as heavy precipitation. That's why it is important to be alert, prepared, and informed whenever a typhoon is coming, just like now. Okay, Cullen. Please call your brother and sister and let's do the necessary preparations before our area gets flooded. Yes, Daddy. Thank you for the important ideas that you shared. I am going to share them with my friends.